Well, today I'm going to be doing a simple test with some bracing on the box. I kind of want to see what it does with my output peak as well as my STL decibels. For my single 12. So just an explanation first. So currently with my box, I, you, I tried putting a brace in the inside and I lost as far as a small little like um, half inch brace here or an inch uh, baffle brace in the middle. Because what's happening is up here, it slightly bounces a little so there's not a lot of sturdiness. And I don't really do well as far as gaining inside the enclosure by adding that. But I'm going to try it on the outside and I really am curious to see what happens. So. The initial test is first going to be with it actually installed. So what I'm doing is I have my jack here. I have a piece of wood and I'm going to locate this jack in a spot that I know where we have a lot of movement. So right now you got a, a big area here. You normally want to really solidify and brace your box, um, not just horizontally, but vertically. And in this area, it doesn't really have that. So what I'm going to do is try, let me set this down real quick, is actually brace this better so, so that's what I'm going to be working on real quick with this is I'm going to get the brace set up and I'm going to do my initial test first and find out the difference in output that I'll get between with it and without it it might look stupid but if I if I do this and you'll see a drastic change in SPO I remember doing it with the brace and I think it was like a third of a dB difference just by me adding wood and it was actually a loss not a gain, so I'm actually getting closer to it. But I use the jack the same way as when I installed my roof. And when I added the braces, I lifted the roof up, added the braces, and it dropped right on the brace and it was tight. So that's the way I set it up. There's more than one way, but this is the rigged up way that I use it, that I make it happen. So there we go. So there's that. So right now, it bounces the wood a little bit. But what I'm about to do is tighten this. So it's going to flex the roof up a little higher as well. So this is going to dig into the wood here. There we go. I heard a little pop, and that's all I'm going to do. Okay, so now it's a lot more solid than it was before. Before I had a little kickback. Now I don't. I'm telling you, it looks stupid, but this is the initial test before I do a final decision on what I'm going to do with this brace. I don't brace in the inside, but if I can brace on the outside and gain, then this will be a nice one. Um, subscribe if you haven't. Stay tuned for more, uh, a lot of different videos, SPO-wise, car audio, and just entertainment with my single 12. So let me go ahead and get everything set up. real quick so I got a single 12 we're gonna see how that looks it looks dumb right now but this is the initial test to see what the SPL is like so SPL is just gonna be to find out how the actual decibel results is gonna be so what this means is I'm gonna be able to measure this with that installed first this is first turn on in the morning too and then I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna see if I go up or down by simply having that brace in there. Uh, let me set my phone down for a minute. I'll talk while I set everything up. So the goal for this is for me to be able to see if I'm able to add a brace to my box on the top and gain. And if I gain more than a tenth or so, I'm saying I'll be happy with it. And I'll be able to make some kind of brace there. That's also going to brace the roof a little more. I'm not going to be doing anything too fancy, but it should work for what, what I do. So you never know until you try. And if you're a cardio addict like me and you want to get as loud as you can with what you got, that right there works. So we'll find out real quick how it's doing. Go ahead and set up my stuff like I always do. I haven't turned on my vehicle for about a week, so it's going to be all right, though. All right, so let's make sure we got the Bluetooth connected. I got my meter where I always put it on the glass. So this one's going to be pretty interesting to see how it changes. Uh, let me move the seat up because I always, I always do my initial test with the seat up. It's just how I am. All right, and we'll find out how this does. Got my meter here. There we go. 
Okay. Make sure I'm on volume 20. I always do my test at volume 20. And let's go ahead and do the sweep. So I use a sweep tone, test tone on Bluetooth to be able to find out how it's doing. Make sure my volume's up max on Bluetooth, volume 20. Window down. I always do a window down for my test. First, can find out my peak in a sweep, and we'll see how it does on the meter. Low volume. So that's going to be low volume test. So let me screenshot this. So we'll remember a 30.6. And then that's at 46 hertz. So now I'm going to go back there and take out the brace real quick. And we'll find out the difference. So let me set this down real quick while I get this set up. All right. So now I'm just going to pop my brace out and we'll see the difference. So that's literally all I'm doing. I got about six turns on it. So it rose probably about an inch. Throw this outside. All right. So now I got without the brace. Everything's the same variables. I didn't change anything. I didn't play high volume, so there isn't gonna be any heat or voltage change. The truck's not on. Remember 30.6. Now we're gonna find out how it does with that brace out. So that means that I didn't get a gain and I didn't I might have lost a DB uh, a tenth of a DB So there isn't any substantial difference in that. Well, that's a little disappointing But at least I did that on video so I can kind of show y'all the output change. So it went from a 130.7 to a 130.6 so it's only a tenth of a DB. It's not too uncritical for me then I was expecting at least like a 0.2 or 0.3 difference but it didn't really give me anything so honestly that was a waste of time but on video i get to show y'all stuff like that you can try with your box and you never know what would happen with your output so hope y'all liked enjoyed that hit the like button subscribe if you haven't let me know what y'all think with that test and uh pretty pretty exciting to see where we're getting with this single 12 so that was a no-go i'm not going to have any kind of brace back there in that corner so that corner right there i'm not going to put a brace like i had planned if I gained so I could test it at high volume I'll do that probably off camera but for now I'm I'm happy with where it is without the brace then since I'm gonna gain I'll see you on the next one Jacob Viral out what's going on everybody this is Jacob Viral ending this video to say thank you for watching my videos every single day I have a daily cardio video I upload so if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell and I'll see you tomorrow